Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Mark here. Let's talk about some crypto and this is going to be a big video because we're going to go over some uh, talking points about Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin fell under 60,000 for a bit. Uh, there were some exciting comments from President, uh, former President, I should say, and presidential candidate Donald Trump. Um, and also, uh, we need to talk about Bitcoin because this is the riser uh, of all tides. And right now, as we drop below 60,000, there is a lot of fear starting to inject in the market. I want to kind of encompass all of this into one video. So make sure you guys all stick around to the end. And as always, guys, Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff, uh, because you never want to miss a beat when I do drop a new video right here on the crypto mark. All right. But let's get into the uh, talking uh, within what's going on. Like I said, recession fears are starting to escalate. Uh, I'm going to briefly go through some stuff. You can see some of the metrics that we look at on coin market cap. Bitcoin options volatility basically flat. The open interest is steadily increasing. Uh, fear and greed is shifting more so. Uh, we're going to get right into that territory where just a tick, a tick above neutral. Um, and that's what I really look into in, in terms of what's going on. You can see right here, um, fear and greed's at 48. Uh, if we do shift into this orange area, that's when we're going to get more so on the side of, of really uh, entering that extreme greed. Um, that's where I worry about more liquidations. And, you know, there is seemingly enough been a floor at 60000 for Bitcoin. So uh, we are still down to 10% plus in the last seven days on the week, uh, sitting at a $1.2 trillion market cap. Um, that's kind of where we're at. Um, you can look at the crypto bubbles. I'll show you guys because it's great to illustrate this for you all. Um, look at the movers, right? Uh, some of the meme coins we talk about are getting hit hard. Brett's down almost 17%. Jasmine, uh, almost 10%. Pepe, 7%. But outside of that, uh, it's basically a 3 to 5% with all the top 10, the big blue chips out there in the market. Ethereum, 3% down on the day. Uh, but if we sort it by the week, it's been kind of a bloody week, right, across the board. So uh, a lot of our favorite cryptos are down uh, anywhere from 10 to 30%. Meme coins are getting hit hard the most. You could look at Bonk, Pepe, Brett, and Dog with Hat. 34, 30, 26, and 26, respectively, down into the red. All right, so giving back some gains. Uh, it's very, very volatile out there in the market. So uh, Brett just dipped below a, a billion-dollar market cap for uh, the first time. I took some profits, actually, a, a couple weeks ago. or I'm sorry, about a little over a week ago. So, you know, that's always important, kind of uh, mitigate some of those losses. Not really a hedge, but you got to understand where the market's headed. Uh, but let's get into some of these comments, right? Um, I'm not going to ever use my channel as a political platform, but in this uh, shape uh, of the argument, I think that it's important to understand, right, what went on, okay? Uh, we had a full-fledged uh, kind of explosion, right? The S&P was going out of control. Uh, Bitcoin was at all-time highs uh, after presidential, um, former President Trump got shot, you know, one inch from a civil war, essentially. And then next thing you know, uh, Joe Biden withdraws from the race, and we see all the institutions kind of flock out of crypto, out of out of some of the <clears throat> you know uh, big players out there in the stock market, and we have since been selling off and liquidating to this point. And always remember, not financial advice, though, guys. I just I'm sharing with you my viewpoints when it relates to this stuff and and my own financial interests. So it's important to do your own research. But I'm gonna share these viewpoints with you, and this is kind of the big thing, right? Um, you know, Joe Biden withdrew from the race, and now we're talking about recession. It's kind of crazy. You can see what's happened to Bitcoin on the chart. Um, I'll pull up this article because it's very important, okay? Uh, the jobs report, uh, we added 114,000 jobs in July. That's lower than 175. That was estimated. Unemployment's risen uh, to 4.3 unexpectedly, the highest level since 2021. So a lot of anxiety, okay? So this is something where... Will we cut rates in September? That's what we're going to look at. I think that, you know, the argument that Powell has no choice, uh, coupled with the fact that we're just kind of treading water here, um, is this going to be good? I'm not an, I'm not going to sit up here and pretend like I'm an economist, but um, I can kind of connect the dots and read between the lines. And uh, I'm not really looking forward to some of this data that we're having uh, as we look at the crypto uh, fear and greed index, like we alluded to. We're starting to shift uh, for, uh, into that greedy territory. All right, but you know, seeing this retracement, right? Uh, this is where will we get a relief rally? Will we see crypto bounce? That's kind of the big question, right? A lot of cryptos in the top market caps they are showing seven-day lows on average. 
Um, so according to sentiment, a lot of the things saying that we have such been, um, you know, seeing these historically low levels uh, as of recent, uh, will we have price rallies? Will we see a bounce? That's what the data shows. That's what the metrics show. So, um, you know, that's why it's important to don't be too emotional. Um, don't, you know, look at this as, oh my God, crypto is crashing. Relax. Just a week ago, we were at all-time highs for Bitcoin. So uh, keep that in mind. But um, it is kind of interesting because we are kind of like volleying on the edge of recession. And I think a lot of people are just blinded. I talk to people about, you know, politics, crypto, finance, um, the economy a lot, uh, just kind of outside of this channel, just kind of shooting the shit. And uh, quite frankly, what we are seeing, I think, isn't going appreciated from um, and recognized. I think it's going kind of under the radar. Um, a lot of these jobs within this job report, how much are these jobs, uh, you know, that are being added actually jobs that are new jobs? Um, that's kind of, I think, a misleading statistic. Uh, if you look in the GDP numbers, how much are we actually taking into account uh, some of the money that's been printed, that's been kind of flowing in? Um, you know, it all has an effect, right? For every high, there's a low. For every action, there's a reaction. So uh, when we put it all together, it, it kind of alludes to a deeper narrative. So we're going to continue to track it here on the channel. All right. But before we do get into President Trump uh, and some of those comments, I do want to share with you guys uh, today's channel sponsor. This is Margex. All right. If you trade Bitcoin, you trade any cryptos out there, if you register using my link, you can claim up to $10,000 in bonuses. And you can see on their leaderboard some of the users that I've been having extreme success. Uh, make sure you guys all check out the links down below because uh, and check out Margex because if you do any leverage trading, it's extremely volatile. There's no KYC. So make sure it's right for you and what you want to get out of your financial journey. Uh, so make sure you do your own due diligence. And if it's right for you, get started trading all of your favorite cryptos today up to 100x leverage right here on this platform. Okay, uh, but this is now kind of the, the highlight of this video. These are exclusive comments from President, uh, from former President Trump saying that we could pay $35, uh, $35 trillion debt with Bitcoin. Okay, I know he kind of just shoots from the hip a lot, says some outlandish comments, but uh, some of the quotes I do want to bring to you guys. Crypto is a very interesting thing. It will at a very high level intellectually, but if we don't do it, China will. China's already doing it. If we don't take steps, other countries will. So I don't know if I necessarily agree with all that, but at, at face value, I understand what he's trying to get at. All right. So uh, very enthusiastic from the Trump campaign about crypto. Uh, and this is, you know, a very bold prediction, but maybe we can pay off our $35 trillion debt with some Bitcoin. Now, that's kind of interesting because it is true, right? We know about the seizures and kind of the stockpile that we have within the United States. Um, and, and it goes back to, you know, the comments that he's made in this recent interview with Fox Business's Maria Baratromo, where he says that we should have embraced crypto technology to maintain American leadership in the global arena. So definitely a strong desire there. Um, that's neither here nor there though. It's, you know, something where I look for these presidential candidates to kind of weaponize crypto moving forward, uh, as we get later on in 2024. So it's going to be very interesting to watch this all unfold, but that's where we're on, uh, where we're at on the charts. Um, appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know this is a little bit of a longer video, but I wanted to take the time to kind of go over these remarks as well as talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on with the more broader shape of the crypto sphere. So appreciate you guys watching. Remember, links down below if you want to check out Margex. Thanks for, thanks for all being part of the channel, and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.